uh, thank you everybody for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, it is uh, impossible to overstate the importance of phase in audio engineering. You see I've, I've made an angle of 45 degrees. Well, we're going to do exactly the same thing with sine waves. Because you see, if I project that, uh, that uh, excursion at 45 degrees onto the sine wave, you see that I've moved a little bit from the left to the right within the sine wave. So as we increase the phase angle further and further, the sum total sound will become less and less and less and less. So that you here have this weird concept of why you have two essentially healthy sounds, but you merge them together and they cancel out. And when you think about it, that happens a lot in audio engineering. Uh, I'm sure that many of you have walked around festival fields and heard these massive differences in arrival times between different delay systems. So what we have to do really is we have to consider the closest main loudspeaker source and we have to try to get one arrival time here and another arrival time here. And we have to try and make these sources not interfere with each other. And we all hear this, we just, most of us haven't trained our ears well enough to perceive it. And therefore, sounds from the side are not registered and sounds from right in front are being picked up very accurately. Face. Thanks, people.